you know, as you get a little older, you lose a little bit of flexibility. You got a big bike like the Gold Wing or the rest of touring. I saw that. I saw your shadow. <laughs> <laughs> or the rest of the touring bikes. <laughs> nice. He's trying it harder and harder to sling that leg over the bike. So what's going to be today's video? I'm going to show you how to put the leg over the bike. We're going to do it from the right side and the left side and show you the advantages of using the right side compared to the left side also. You know what I'm talking about. Get on, babe. Get on. Get on. Go in. Struggling. <laughs> trying to put that leg up over the bike, especially if you have a backrest. You know, Ooh, yeah. it don't have to be that hard. So we're gonna show you what I do and what I've learned many, many years ago to use the bike to get on a bike. So the first one is this. Use your momentum to get on a bike. If you're walking up to your bike, walk up to it naturally and use your momentum. Right. If you're standing close to the bike, use your momentum standing close. And it goes like this. I don't want to be this close to the bike if I'm having trouble lifting my leg. So I take a step back and then I take a step with my left leg as if I'm walking and let my right leg just sling over the bike. Here we go. Step momentum. I'm on the bike, ready to roll, and then you just get it off the side stand like normal. If you haven't seen our side stand video, make sure you go back and check that after this one. Also, we we're going to show you in this video easy way to dismount the bike instead of struggling like we see a lot there's an easy way to dismount okay the second way we're going to show you is simple if you especially if you have a passenger how does passengers normally get on the bike you want me to show them? they use the passenger floorboards and mount the bike so get off, baby, for a second. So if the passenger using their floorboards and our foot pegs, you do the same thing. Except use your left leg on the foot peg, stand up. If you don't have a tall windshield, this works perfectly. Lean forward, just if you would not have a seat, a back backrest, and just sling your leg over. Easy, simple, peasy. That's how I get on my bike 99% of the time. When we show that, it's the same on the right side as it is the left side. So let me demonstrate it. My left foot on the foot peg. I don't have to grab the handlebars. I can use the windshield, my mirror. All I do is lean forward and just lean my foot over as if. You I get in this bike? No, that's, that's the, the same, same one. one. <laughs> time out for a minute. <laughs> You want to get on it? No. No? Y'all want to get on it? <laughs> I didn't say ride it. I just said get, get on it. I got to look at his other Exactly. All the time. All the time. This guy always out there. Real good to us when we use this parking lot. Just just love us out here having a good time, not doing donuts and spending anything. We're going to get back to the, the program. But yeah, man, we, we just love hanging out with him. So let me show you this right quick and put your... Nah, we're gonna cut the camera, we're gonna start as soon as we leave. Okay, let's get back to the program. Really good guy, really good guy. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it with your foot pegs or your floorboards. Like I said, all you gotta do is lean forward and sling your, your back leg over it. We're gonna do a different camera angle also. Lean forward, sling your back leg over, and you are set. Then you just get it off the side stand like normal. So we're gonna do a different camera angle from this side, and then we're gonna do dismounting and mounting from the right side. Okay, this is how I look from this side. Exact same thing, and sometimes I just put my knee on here and swing it over, but most of the time I just swing my leg over. Left foot on the left floorboard or peg. Don't really have to do that, but if you wanna use your handlebar, that's fine. Lean forward, swing over, and you are set. And just get it off the side stand like normal. So now let's discuss dismounting no different the exact same way I dismount two different ways first it's just like I got on left foot on the peg swing and I'm off the bike second one is the way I got on the bike the first time second one 
I always grab my handlebar with my right hand. Grab my handlebar, foot on the ground, turn, and just step off. Okay, now let's talk about the advantages or the reason you should be dismounting from the right side. It's just simple, safety. See, police officers do it all the time. That's safety and tactics. Think about putting on side of the road. You get off on the left side, you may stumble into oncoming traffic. Getting off the right side, no different than mounting like we've done before. If I use momentum, I will step my right foot first and let my left foot sling over. Step, sling, momentum. No difference. Getting off, exact same way, push, turn, step off. Okay, now, we're gonna talk about mounting from the right side using your foot pegs. For most people, they're afraid to mount because they think if they stand up on it, the bike gonna tip over. This is the key, keep it locked, lean over the bike, step it on with your right foot, lean over the bike, and then sling your left foot over. Step on, lock, I'm leaning over my bike, and then I just step on like normal and I am set. Getting off, exact opposite. Lock, lean on the bike and step off. Step off and you are ready to go. So go out and practice that. After you do it a couple times, it's gonna come second nature. In fact, I do it so much I really don't realize I'm doing it. When I'm on the side of a road, I do it intentionally on the right side. But normally, on some of my videos, I watched some of the videos and noticed I was getting off on the right side, which is habit for me. So, once again, left, right foot up, lean over your bike, then sling your leg over it and you can get on the right side. Getting off, don't worry about this. Peg, lean with the bike, and just step off and you are ready to roll. So go down and give it a practice a couple of times and you'll find out it comes second nature. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this. We're gonna be in the parking lot a lot before we get on the road for this year tour. But if you're out riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. I'm Kate. And we out. Peace. Peace.